welcome to my channel. Please press subscribe because every week I will be bringing you a treat like a donut. <laughs> Welcome to the car girl. You will find lots of wonderful machines here, so I hope you enjoy. And today we are focusing on a car I have been so excited about driving. It is the Mustang Mach-E, and it scores well before it even turns a wheel. It's family friendly, it's electric, and it looks desirable with a capital D. There are no Ford badges around here. It is a Mustang, so you get a pony badge. And there is no traditional front grille because there is no traditional engine for air to cool. However, these flaps down here open and shut to keep the battery at its best temperature. You can definitely see the muscle car family resemblance with these bonnet bulges and the body lines. And then on the roof, there is this black top which cunningly disguises the rear headroom whilst reminding those outside of the Mustang's coupe origins. And then around the back, there are trademark Mustang tri-bar lights. And if you come to the car armed with bags and babies, then just kick your foot under here and the boot will open to reveal a pretty capacious space. Getting into the car seems very futuristic because all you need to do is press this button. Now, in other markets, this keypad will let you get into the car and drive away. But in the UK, because of insurance issues, it only allows you and people you have given a code to to get in. Technology is very much at the heart of this car. Inside this 15 and a half inch screen is Ford's next generation sync system, which is idiot proof to use, as I can testify. There is no back button because you are never going to get lost deep in any sub menu. You're only one or two clicks away from all of the apps. You can personalize up to 80 different settings. So you can set the cabin temperature or the seat position and it learns your routines and comes up with suggestions as well. It will give you real-time information on where you can charge your car en route, and also it has got wireless Apple CarPlay, which mimics your phone. The only old school thing here is this volume control, which is great because it's manual and it's quick to use. I really love all the materials that have been used here. It's like being in your own wardrobe as opposed to just a plastic box. There's cloth, there is vegan leather, there's stitching. I just wish that they had used it throughout the whole of the car because it is so lovely. If you would like to bring nature in, then there is the panoramic roof, which goes all the way back over the rear three seats. And if you really want to bring nature in, then the front boot is washable and drainable. Shall we try? One front, one welly. <laughs> this seems so wrong. will not like the fact that the name Mustang is no longer exclusively for muscle cars. That Mustang is the world's best-selling sports coupe, but this one guarantees the Mustang name for the future. Now, you can get a choice of either a standard or an extended range Mackey, and then you've got the choice of a single motor rear wheel drive car or a dual motor all wheel drive machine, which is the one that I've got here. And thanks to the fact that the wheel that's got the most grip works the hardest, peak torque is all yours in half a second of you asking for it. That is 580 Newton meters within the click of a finger. Driving 351 horsepower like that sees 0 to 62 happen in 5.8 seconds. And it goes on to 111 miles an hour. 
And if you want more, then you'll have to wait to the end of 2021 for the Mac E GT, which will do 62 miles an hour in under four seconds. But it's not just about the speed. I'm sitting on an all-new platform and the lithium-ion battery is between the front seats and the rear seats and as low as possible just to keep that centre of gravity down to the ground and that helps give this car the most sports car-like handling it possibly can. Then there are the three best named driving modes out there. You have got Whisper to start with. That's when the steering wheel is quite light, the throttle is quite gentle, and the cabin ambiance is quiet. And this is as close, I think, that you'll get to gliding down on the ground. Then there's active mode, which is best for everyday driving. And then you have got Untamed. The throttle sharpens up, the steering sharpens up, and you can really feel that. On to the brakes here for the corner. I do miss a bit of a gearbox as I come down the speed. But it grips really well, it tucks in nicely. I mean, I'm not going to get the same feedback that I would in a 10-year-old Porsche 911 that's much more mechanical, but this is really good. In this super sporty mode, I am seriously engaged with this car. <laughs> this propulsion noise, I think, is the best I've ever heard. It really does trick my ears into thinking that there's something juicy under the bonnet. I mean, it's put a smile on my face. No, it's not a muscle car, but it's flexing these muscles. <laughs> it's pleasing to know this new platform delivers the thrills with poise. But the pony can't always be off the lead. If you drive with a heavy right foot, then you will never reach this car's 335 mile range. If you go for the rear wheel drive extended range Mackie, that adds another 44 miles to it. And then it mixes with the very best of electric cars. The car continuously assesses your driving style, the route you've got planned and the weather conditions. And it will adjust the predictions of how many miles you've got left between fill-ups and that does reduce some range anxiety. If you would rather keep as much energy as possible inside the battery, then just click on the one pedal option and then the throttle becomes a one-stop shop. Press it to go, lift off to stop. And as you lift off, the energy is regenerated back into the battery. Now, I find it a bit restrictive and a bit dull. So I'll just click that off again. <laughs> It's got every driver assistance that you would expect from a more luxurious model. It's also got autonomous aids, so it will accelerate, brake and steer for you on motorways. It will also brake in case you reverse into the path of something that you've not seen. And it will also evasively steer around something in front to avoid a collision. So, it sounds as though I'm not needed at all in here. Hmm. I will be needed to fill it up though. When it comes to fast charging, a 10 minute top up will give you 66 miles, or if you can wait a little bit longer, 45 minutes will see the charge go from 10% all the way to 80%. Ford will also sell you a home wall box for around £800 and that will see the car being charged from 0 to 100% in 11 hours and it will be a lot cheaper than a tank of fuel. So 
So, how much for the first ever plug-powered pony? Well, it starts at £40,000 for the rear-wheel drive machine and this range topper is £57,000. It is a car that draws people in and it makes you feel proud as you step out. I think it's more special than the Polestar 2 rival and it is a refreshing alternative to Tesla's Model 3. It is a real wow car that has got substance and style. Thank you so much for watching this film. Please let me know your thoughts, so long as they're lovely, in the comments section below. And please press subscribe so that you are ready for the next film. Thank you so much.